They've gone a long, long way in this Champions League campaign. And while they might be tempted to think about the final, first things first, this semi-final hurdle to clear. It's PSG and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here, and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. An encouraging move from Barca. Felix, real chance. Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Milan Skriniar Oh, plays. Derek, can he finish this? Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. Well, Barcelona gets things going again. A wake-up call for them, perhaps. De Jong Pedri Frankie De Jong what can he do with it now Lewandowski and the keeper more than equal to the task Over it comes. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Opportunity to deliver the cross. High quality defending. That's a good looking ball. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. top in the end so you're absolutely right it's a great effort but he just can't bring it down in time really unlucky de jong Lewandowski now joao cancelo Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Options in the centre. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. De Jong. Cancelo. Barcelona have been awarded the throw-in. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. 
Felix. Had no interest in losing possession. Joao Cancelo. Top class defending. Marquinhos. Now with Akimi. Really pressurizing them and a throw in coming up. Koro Muani. Mbappe. Opportunity. Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, they're going for the short one. Dembele. Oh, it's gone in for PSG as they extend their advantage to two goals. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better. And Dembele does the rest. He strikes the ball so cleanly, there's no stopping that. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Joao Cancelo. Lewandowski now. Gundogan. Rafinha. Kunde. Making sure nothing came of it. And Dembele couldn't keep the ball. Pedri. Felix. And there's the feed into the box. Just knocked it out of there. Vitor Ferreira. On to Hernandez. Skriniar. Now with Akimi. Dembele. Just cutting off the supply. Pedri. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Joao Felix. Well, they kept their shape defensively. Job done for now. Oh, surely. Not out of the woods yet. Oh, he's given it. The referee says penalty. And an opportunity for them to pull one back here. And into the book he goes too. Well, once he gave the penalty, he was always going to give him a yellow card. This to get back into it. The keeper going in the right direction and saving it. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Now sending it in. Ball is loose. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper.
Well, let's take another look at this. And from the attacking point of view, everything's right. The shot across the goalkeeper, players coming in for the rebound, and there's not much the goalkeeper could do about that. He made a good effort on the first one, couldn't react to the second. Well, you can see the frustration in his face. His team have just switched off here. Well, the action continues, and you sense the momentum may well be with Barca here. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Yeah, he's played pretty well, to be fair. He's looked confident and assured on the ball, but he's going to need a helping hand if they are to turn this around in the second half. And the ball is moving again. The onus is on Barcelona to turn this game on its head. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. Lucas Hernandez. Could be threatening. Mbappe. Oh, it's cheeky! Well, we like to call things as we see them, Stuart, and I must say he's got that one horribly wrong. Well, it's a poor decision in the end. It's way off target. Well, I think it's fair to say he's not overly pleased, is he? It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. Well, he took care of it defensively. What a magnificent pass. And very nicely positioned to win it back. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Gundogan. Araujo. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Dembele. And the pass, a good one. Mbappe in the centre. It could be up for grabs. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Rafinha. This is Robert Lewandowski moving the ball forward with purpose. Cancelo. He might be able to carve something out. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Lewandowski. It should be. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Now we're into the final half hour. Might lead to a chance. Delivering it into the box. And Sonia on the volley. Well, he'd be frustrated with that finish. That was a big opportunity there. Here it is now, a substitution. Ronald Araujo. Gundogan. The free kick decision goes the way of Barcelona. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Lewandowski. 
More than decent passing sequences, but they need a leveller. Lewandowski. Now with Cancelo. Great defending. And nicely struck. Well, the keeper made the save pretty easily in the end. And not great for the keeper. Oh, managing to beat him. Teammate available. Marquinhos with the block. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, successfully cut out. Lewandowski. And Torres on the ball. Rafinha. Good work from PSG to win it back. Marquinhos. It's with Carlos Soler. Mbappe. Oh, could be. And deflected behind, so a corner here. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Fired over by Usman Dembele. Clearance left a bit to be desired. And a harmless cross gobbled up. They've ceded possession, Barca. Toro Muani. Given the circumstances, Barcelona have got to go for it. Time is against them here. But nothing comes of it. Well, it comes down to the final five minutes. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Let's have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here and Mbappe's movement and penalty box awareness makes that finish look easy that's a really good goal continues and no shortage of goals 3-1 as things stand the fans want to see a shot still can be dangerous and a time for cool heads Lewandowski it's with Joao Cancelo and if you're wondering about added time two minutes it'll be and Barcelona showing good width here. Now will the cross work out for them? It's still alive, and they produce the arrears. You never know. They still believe in themselves. Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. Well, that makes it interesting, and suddenly he's showing a bit of concern here. Just look at his face. Good for the 
And that's the end of the story for this match anyway. PSG with the advantage after 90 minutes. Well, at this stage of the tournament, you'd take any lead going into that second leg. I tell you what, though, this tie is far from over. Very little to split between the two sides, and it's set up perfectly for round two. Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight? Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.